Well guys, um, doing a bit of painting tonight. Got some chipboard and paint it with a good uh, exterior white. Got another one there. I've actually got my door framed in. Now I just uh, now I'm just waiting for this to dry and then I can and then I'll cut it and then just paint where the um, cuts are and then mount it out front and I've got an entrance door in front of the roll-up door so that's gonna be awesome but uh we're gonna hit the records this weekend had, had a blast and uh, just me and uh, my daughter's boyfriend's dad Jeremy and we grew up together so we hit the records this weekend uh, I found something that's really cool but let me give you an idea of what's going on here first um, getting uh, my snow blower this actually attaches to my snow blower so I'm getting it mocked up to mount to the Honda this is the spare Honda and then I'll just be able to take it off of this and then just boom mount it right up to that no problem so working on that picked up some steel um, so I can build the brackets weld up the brackets to that so I'll give you an idea what I found at the records inside an old Winnebago and I picked it up for 40 bucks so this is gonna make a really awesome thing because um, winter's coming and I'm thinking GT snow racer wouldn't it be cool if something like that was powered right and have two skis on the front so you can you know like a old man scooter um, you could drive up and down the sidewalk with it have two skis on the front and I'll actually use the front end of this when I'm done with it for steering and this is what I found the base to a snowblower it's actually a hydrostat drive um, it's got forward and reverse by this lever here you just pull it in and pull it out and you see in the bottom there right in here it, it's forward and reverse and it's got the mounting holes and I've got a six and a half or seven and a half horse uh, motor coming so it just constantly spins like this but I thought that would be perfect to build uh, a motor put a motor on it and uh, yeah forward and reverse and coming off of that actually to be yeah it'll be turned around the other way um, but have a like kind of like a scooter chair with two skis on the front so you can tour up and down the sidewalk uh, in the winter time so I'll give you an idea of how this thing actually works just with a 12 volt drill okay <laughs> all right so i've got two logs here and just a drill um oh set on number two i only had it on set on uh, set on number one before <laughs> this thing's cool here we go <laughs> but that's going to be absolutely awesome. It's like mini tank. <laughs> Let's see, I only had it on number one before. That's awesome. Oh, oh this could be wicked. Tour up and down the sidewalks in the wintertime with this thing. <laughs> so that's going to be absolutely awesome. So I'll show you how it works. Um, I've just got a drill sitting on the pulley here. So it goes forward like that. And then you push this lever in like so and spin in the same way got reverse oh. that's awesome 
That is just way cool. So I seen that last week at the Wreckers and I told them, I said, I'll be back. I said, I'll come back during the week and pick it up, but I didn't get to it until uh, um, Saturday, I think it was. Yeah, Saturday we were there. So I was kind of amazed it was still there. Well, it was kind of hard to see anyway. It was the inside of an old beat up freaking Winnebago. So yeah, somebody's, somebody's used it for something before because there's an actual board on here with some sort of notches and They've welded like uh, some sort of hitch onto it to use it for something else. And so my guess is they used it to pull something, but it's got a, I'm gonna guess this is the hydraulic reservoir, the oil reservoir for it. And they cut one of the, I guess this would be where the handle is for the snow blower. And this lever here, actually adjust the tilt on it so I'll just oop, I'll just solid that one somewhere there and it'll work absolutely awesome so that's gonna be like way cool <laughs> there's a model number if you want to check it out I have no idea I haven't even looked at it myself but yeah this is gonna be really awesome I figure um, because you can't break either side, I'll have to make the scooter like a regular size scooter, like an old man scooter or whatever, because you need weight on the front skis to actually be able to turn. So you'll be sitting just in, f like literally just in front of this thing. Um, just so the weight is on the actual, uh, um, ski so you can steer but this thing's gonna be wicked. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to pick up some square stock and we're gonna start building. <laughs> Cheers guys. <laughs>